What is the best post cycle therapy, aka PCT, for SARMs? What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard and I'm back at it again with another video. Today we are talking about the best post cycle therapy aka PCT for SARM. First, as a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any formal medical degrees or whatsoever, I don't pretend to be a doctor. Don't listen to what I say, this is all my personal opinion and how I see things and what I would do to my body. Always go to a doctor before you use any formal supplements. So, I did some Q&A's on my Instagram story and uh, I got a lot of questions about SARMs and if you need to do a post cycle therapy afterwards or and if so, what PCT should you be thinking about? Will SARM suppress? me will I lose my gains after SARMs whatsoever now as we all might know a SARM is a selective androgen receptor modulator most compounds are all anabolic and non androgenic now what SARMs do is they provide uh, lean muscle mass while specifically targeting bone and muscle tissues SARMs still seem to be a safer alternative uh, with less negative side effects than other traditional anabolic androgenic uh, steroids on the market. They are orally taken or in liquid, in capsules or powder form, whatever. And these days there are even some compounds coming in as injectables. So there's still a lot of experimenting going on with SARMs and I'm not seeing it stop in the near future. Now, some SARMs as well as dose and length dependent, uh, they will suppress your natural and testosterone levels because your own testosterone production is simply overlapped by something that acts like testosterone because SARMs are really anabolic like I said. So in some cases your test production gets suppressed and your body is getting its fuel from the SARM you are taking. Sometimes people do experience side effects because the surplus of testosterone which then does gets converted into estrogen. Of course this is something we want to avoid because most people take SARMs uh, because there is a zero chance percent of side effects. Well, that's what they think, but most likely you won't have any. But if you run like extremely suppressive compounds like S23 or RED140, uh, you will get suppressed for sure and you probably wouldn't know what's going on. So, so that's why you're probably watching this video and I won't let you guys wait any longer. Now as far as a PCT for SARMs, a lot of people could get off without using any PCT at all like myself. Um, I ran multiple compounds, different dosages and lengths to experiment with the effects on my body. Um, the first couple ones I was fine but at some point after using some PEDs for a while your natural testosterone will get suppressed even though it's a little bit. But in my opinion if you did like an LGD cycle maybe 10 to 20 milligrams for 12 weeks maximum you don't want any PCT that's harsh on the body if you need a PCT at all like I said. What I would say is the perfect SARM PCT ingredient is arimastane. And arimastane is actually a suicide aromatized inhibitor. Now what it does, it binds to the aromatized enzyme and therefore prevents estrogen rebounds. It also hires your natural testosterone levels and has shown to reduce the cortisol stress hormone. Now the great thing about arimastane is that it's as legal as SARMs actually and by far, in my opinion, the best PCT ingredient for a SARM only cycle. Now with arimastane in your PCT, you should have a dosage around 75 milligrams and you should split it up twice a day so one in the morning and one later on in the day um, take it for two weeks and then you're probably good to go now I advise taking a rimestain with some other ingredients as well uh, which is saw palmetto or however you call it it prevents the DHT conversion and it decreases any symptoms of you know prostate enlargement now still SARM shouldn't be doing any of this uh, but overall it's compound dose and length dependent uh, and then problems might occur like I said and this ingredient might also be effective against hair loss side effects and baldness and, and the last ingredient you might want to stack with arimastane and saw palmetto is bulbine nettolensis uh, or called prolensis this is a product that supports the natural hormone balance which increases the cholesterol in the testes which is needed to let the body produce more testosterone and therefore you have to increase cholesterol to increase testosterone. So conclusion, if you're taking these three supplements uh, because you're a little bit afraid that you would get any severe side effects from SARMs, then these three supplements would get you off really good without doing any heavy PCT. If you would have any problems in the first place, like I said, I never experienced any severe side effects myself. I might was a little bit suppressed at some point, but I got off with a natural testosterone booster then. So if you did a small osterine cycle from 10 to 20 milligrams, uh, 12 weeks maximum, and you're still a little bit afraid that you might get gyno or whatever side effect, or you maybe even got the feeling that you're a little bit suppressed, tired and whatsoever, 
um, which again is different for everybody, you know. And then you could also buy a regular testosterone booster with zinc, magnesium, uh, ashwagandha, tribulus, and all these products. For the first, you could get off real easy if you're not afraid, you know. So yeah, now I was running some more compounds, different dosages, and um, I just I just knew my body was in need of something extra, and that's why this is, in my opinion, the best SARM only protocol. Uh, post cycle therapy there is if you're doing heavy dosages or for longer periods of time compounds like s23 which is extremely suppressive you might need to end up using something heavier for the body uh, which is a nolvadex or a clomid uh, i should run it for four weeks after that but that depends on how suppressed your body is so arimastane saw palmetto and bulbine natalensis Sure, there are many other things that could help you boost your natural testosterone, such as food or whatever other supplements. But these three ingredients I just wanted to highlight because it's really a good PCT, it's not that harsh on the body, uh, it's really easy to get because sometimes it's hard to get a Nolvadex or a Clomid or whatsoever. So, yeah, that was it for today's video. Thanks a whole lot for watching again. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel, click on post notifications to be the first one to see my new videos about SARMs, diets, workouts. Uh, bodybuilding news whatsoever follow me on facebook instagram go to pinterest i even got a spotify playlist go out to anabolic tv by enhanced athlete and subscribe there as well new videos coming very very soon stay tuned guys like i said thanks a lot for watching again it's the wiper from the yard and i'm out